All right, welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. We have Michaela Smith with us, who has just signed to play softball over at Anderson. First off, congratulations. Thank you. Now, who else showed some interest in you? I mean, I had schools around that I had gone and visited and emailed. I'd emailed Furman, PC, different schools around here, smaller schools around to come and watch me and show interest. But I mean, I just never really went to it. Talk, talk about the level of interest that Anderson showed uh, during this process. What really kind of helped them stand out? Well, I had a hitting coach throughout my childhood that had contacted them, and he actually picked up the phone and called my father and said, hey, I want your daughter to come down here and play for me. He picked up and showed the interest to actually initiate to come ask me to come down there. And who was that? Coach Hewitt. Coach Hewitt. Tommy Hewitt? Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, that just kind of struck me hit me hard that somebody would actually pick up the phone and show enough interest to call and want me to come. It's kind of humbling in a way. Yeah. Now, has he indicated to you what positions you may play on infield? Because I know you played third base, you played shortstop some, you, you know, you played infield just about everywhere. Oh, yes, sir. But I'm going primarily for third base. That's where I'm going to start playing. Peyton Yacht. Where, the do, where do you feel you've Peyton made the Yacht. most improvement even in the last year? In the last year, I definitely say that I've come a long way playing shortstop from the first grade. My first appearance at shortstop was 10th grade, and that was the first time I'd ever been thrown over there, and I was just got kind of stuck. And last year, I'd like to think that I improved a lot just knowing how to play and what to play. Was there a moment when you were playing, especially in-game, that you kind of felt everything kind of came together in that respect? I'd like to say the Burns game last year, that last final game, it just, I played really good that game. That was probably one of the best games I played all year. Like, I turned two double plays. I was three for four. Like, everything just kind of clicked that game. And I knew, I wasn't sad when I walked off that field because I knew I'd give everything that I had when I was on that field. Now we've been talking about softball, but obviously education is important also. Have you given any consideration into a major? I'm leaning towards pharmacy, but I also have this, I'm kind of iffy with it, and I'm wanting to kind of go the physical therapy route, too. I haven't quite decided between the two yet. Mm -hmm. How much of a, of a relief is it just to have this off your shoulders now, to know that you know where you're going for your college years, you can just kind of enjoy your last run to hear it It's a huge relief. I mean, this is what I've worked for ever since I was a child. Like, I knew I would sit down and watch TV. Like, I want to be that girl playing in college. And now to think that I've actually come and achieved my goals that I've worked so hard for all my life, it's just a huge relief and an amazing feeling. Was there ever someone that you kind of looked at in terms of a college player or like a, a national team player that you kind of modeled your, your style after? I mean, I just enjoyed watching every girl that was out there. I mean, I guess every, I remember being little and I remember watching the USA team come and play Carolina. I mean, everybody loves like Jenny Finch and Mendoza and Osterman and everybody. Everybody loves them. Now, before you go, you've got one more season here with the Raiders. Think you're going to be another region championship in the team this year? I believe that we will pull it together and get this win this year. We have some spots to iron out and feel right now and we're, trying to figure all that out right now, but I think we'll be okay if we're pretty old. And, and then try not to get Burns in the first round of the playoff. No, I think I like him. <laughs> all right. You, you want a second crack at him? Yeah. yeah. I like that. That's good. Yeah. Well, well, again, we want to thank him. Wish you nothing but luck. Thank you. All right. This has been Mike Hughes here for Real Radio 860 WLBG.